Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about projects that drop within the first few days of this week. If you like that, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And the more of a channel grows, the more I'm able to give away. Speaking of which, I will soon have to part with one soul token as I'm about to hit 5,000 subscribers. So if you want your last chance at winning one soul token, be sure to stay until the end of the video. Also, I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. Would you kindly hit that subscribe button and let's jump in to today's video. So the first project on our list is going to be Bad Kids Alley. Now, I was wary about this project at first, not because of anything sketchy, just because of how it looks. It reminds me of Oni Force. It reminds me of Nextverse. It reminds me of OX Vampire. So I was like another one of these, except now it's forward facing. Now, if you look at their roadmap, it's just not a roadmap at all. It's more a vision. And they pretty much just tell you their goal is to build up a brand and build a community around that brand. And having read this message, looking at how they act on the Discord, I believe them. I believe they're sincere. I believe that they do want good things for this community and they will do their best to make this brand as good as they possibly can. Now, if we take a look at some of their team members, it does seem like a few of them are seasoned in the NFT space. So if we look at Claire McGuire's Twitter profile, she does have quite a bit of followers. And some of the projects she's worked on before, they also have a good amount of followers. This one has 40,000. Her previous work has 4,000. So I do think she is recognized as a force in the NFT space. She's also followed by a lot of prominent people in the space. You got the chairman, you got Julian from Mechaverse, you got Danny, you got Pranksy, Logan Paul, there's Gary V. So a lot of people who are prominent in the NFT space, they follow her on Twitter. So I do think the team is more than capable of building a brand. Now, another reason I think people thought this would do well is their previous work, which is called Unstable Kiddo. Now there are only 66 items in this collection and they look great. I really love this art style. And the price floor for this was 0.85 earlier this week. It's down to 0.5, but I I do think people were expecting this project to do well because of Unstable Kiddo. But if we do look at the pre-sale of Bad Kids Alley, the price floor is only 0.12. So I thought it would do much better. I thought it would at least be at 0.2 just for the flip, just to sell it, pre-reveal, take an easy 2x. Unfortunately, it's only at 0.12. So it's not really flippable when you consider gas. You're only going to make 0.02 Ethereum because the price of this project is 0.08 Ethereum. So it's really your call. I don't think this is flippable. If you do want to buy it for long-term gains, I do think they're going to do their best. They're going to put a lot of effort into their community. But yeah, buy this if you want to buy into the community and you believe in their vision. So this is happening on September 20th at 5 p.m. Eastern. There's going to be 8,888 and they are going for 0.08 Ethereum. The next project on our list is going to be Bear Brick. Now, these are absolutely stunning. And the reason they're stunning is because these already exist. I'm not sure if you know Bear Brick. It's a, an established brand. It's an established product. And you'll often see it with Cause. Here's a website where you could buy physical Bear Bricks. You could also buy Cause. Now, I was thinking, is this even legal? Because it's an existing brand. They're just stealing from another brand. And they're saying it is. The patent has expired. So they're allowed to use these designs. Now, they give you the document. I'm not a lawyer. I have no idea if it's true. It looks real, but <laughs> what do I know? They also say bear brick is fair to use because it's not under any copyright law. So if you are a fan of these bear brick figurines, which a lot of people are, maybe this can be a good pickup for you. I'm not 100% sold for a few reasons. One, it's going to be three soul. Like my, my threshold for projects is starting to become two soul. Three soul, you're pushing it. I think a lot of people come to Solana from Ethereum because of the gas fees. So why are all these Solana projects charging insane amounts when your target audience seems to be people who can't afford the number one marketplace slash blockchain for NFTs? The other reason I, I'm not sure about this is the team is anonymous and they don't even they don't even give you nicknames, right? They're just giving you the number of the the bear brick. Now the reason I am considering this is because these are super nice. I do think they're gonna sell out very quickly. And the way they're doing their drops is it's gonna be 200 a week until the end of 2021. And if you look at the comments, everybody is wondering, is this license? Is this official from Bear Brick? Which tells you that Bear Brick should be doing their own NFTs and they're gonna sell out in seconds. I think a lot of old school brands could start doing NFTs and a lot of people are gonna buy them just for nostalgia. Imagine if, I don't know, TY started doing collectible NFTs of their, their beanie babies. I think people would go crazy for that. So this is almost a social experiment to see if people are gonna wanna buy these kind of NFTs. So they do have a roadmap. 
The roadmap is basically, hey, we're gonna drop a bunch of NFTs, 200 a week. And at the end here, they say they're gonna develop a marketplace where bare brick NFT holders will be able to sell physical replicas in painting format. I have no idea. I think they meant printed format, like 3D printed of their verified and electronically signed NFTs. So they're saying you own the IP and you're gonna be able to sell the physical version on our marketplace. So they're basically gonna be competing against bare brick with their own product that's legal to use like this whole situation is really funny. So I do think these are going to sell out despite them being three soul. What you can do if you want to see if this is a rug, because we don't know who these people are. They're anonymous. So if you want to see if this is a rug, let the first 200 go. As I said, it's going to be 200 a week. You're going to get 200 shots every week to get this. Let the first 200 go by. Don't spend your money on this. And then if it's actually a hit and a ton of people buy it, then week two, you try week three, you try week four, but you don't have to buy this week one since it's not a one-time drop. So this is happening on September 20th at 5 p.m., the same time as Bad Kids Alley. So you might have to pick between the two. And after that, it's supposed to be available on Digital Eyes. And they're also trying to make it available on Solanart. The next project we're gonna talk about, and I really like this one, it's on Ethereum, and it's gonna be Broadcasters. Now their art is very unique. It reminds me a lot of the Vogu Collective, maybe a more retro version. And obviously they're humanoids, they're not robots, or I mean, they have TVs as heads, so they're kind of robots, but you know what I mean, the body. Now, before we look at anything else, finally, a project where the team is docs. They're willing to show you their face, show you who they are. Mark, the advisor, even has videos saying why it's important for people to show their face. You know, Crypto Dads did that. And look at the success of Crypto Dads because they're able to have all these interviews with people and have actual human connection. You know, Chibi Apes also did that. Now they're not having as much success, but I do believe long-term in Chibi Apes just because we know who the team is and they actually communicate things to us. So I really like that. Next, their roadmap. Now this is not a roadmap. This is benefits for the holders, which we're gonna come back to, but here's pretty much their roadmap. And they do say their, their main roadmap is they're gonna build a cartoon. They're gonna make a cartoon, which it's gonna be an animated series. They're also gonna be airdropping 3D broadcasters that are ready to use in the metaverse. And if you go to their Twitter, you actually see what these are gonna look like. So they've started making them. Now, if we go back to the beginning of the roadmap, you can see they have a ton of stuff for their holders. So just by holding, you're gonna get some of their royalties. They're gonna be giving 25% of their royalties to people who hold these NFTs and their previous NFTs. You can see the breakdown here. We're not gonna read it. You can read this if you want, go on their website. It's all linked in the description down below. And if you hold some of their previous work, which is these amazing comic book covers, you're also gonna get a ton of benefits. So they're really big on rewarding their holders. And I, I really like that, especially that they give you a printed version of the comic book. I think it's happening later on this year. Now these comic books also count as a minting pass. So if you have one of these, you can mint one of the new broadcasters for absolutely free. You just pay gas. And then you could also mint up to three additional broadcasters, but you have to pay. And these are currently going for 1.13 Ethereum on OpenSea. And there's only 555 of them available. Now, another thing I like is their price. 0.04 Ethereum amazing price. It's not greedy at all. It's much lower risk for a lot of people. A lot of projects are doing 0.08 or more. And I find that prices out a lot of people because when you add gas on that, there's a lot of people who just don't have that. They try to go to Solana, but Solana, for some reason, they charge you $500 anyways. So this is a great price. It's going to allow a lot more people to buy in. So I'm going to be minting one of these. I don't care if it goes down. I really like this project. I really like this team. I had a ton of questions and I just wrote on Discord like, hey, I have a bunch of questions. Can somebody help me? And I tagged one of the, the founders and one of the people and immediately, immediately answered me, immediately DM'd me and said, hey, how can I help you? I had a list. I sent him 11 questions like a chapter, like, like big and no complaints, just boom, one by one, answered them all, explained everything to me. Like that really tells me they care about their community. They care about their project. They want it to do well and they're in it for the long term. The final project on our list is going to be Soul Snatchers. So this one is also on the Solana blockchain. And first of all, the art. Now I'm, I like the art. The art is really nice, but at the same time, this isn't something I would wear. This isn't something I would put as a profile picture. The artist is very talented. Like these look dope. They do look very good, but I, I don't know this art style or maybe it's the character. I just, I wouldn't put that on my t-shirt or anything. But again, that is very subjective. That is just me. And I do like the art. I do think the artist is very talented. Another thing I like that their roadmap is set up per month. 
It's not, I don't know why all these roadmaps do percentages, like 10%, we're gonna do this, 20%. Ideally, your project sells out within five minutes. So you're not gonna complete your entire roadmap within five minutes. So it makes more sense to do it on a time basis, just like Chibi Apes does. They have a week by week roadmap as opposed to the classic percentage. So I really like that they're doing month by month. The main points in this roadmap are that the NFTs are gonna count as a minting pass and a pre-sale pass to upcoming high caliber NFT projects. Now, to me, if we look at the homepage, they repeat that here. It kind of seems like two things. It seems like it's gonna count as a minting pass for their future stuff. And then correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like it's also gonna count to get you into pre-sales to other projects because they say other high caliber NFT projects and it doesn't sound like their own. So are they taking a page out of the Doge Pound, which just released a list of projects that if you hold the Doge Pound, you're gonna get access to all those projects. Are they trying to do the same thing? If they are, that's an amazing move. Now, I don't know if they are because I had, a ton I had five questions to ask them and I messaged them three times throughout the day on their discord hey can anybody help me people recognize me people said oh crypto gorilla what up but the founders for some reason weren't they were answering everybody else and they were just ignoring me so i messaged them on twitter on twitter they said yeah message us on discord but i can't their their dms are closed i couldn't message them and then finally one of them said to me oh just dm me i told them i can't but i added you as a friend or just dm me and they never did they just kept answering other people i was replying to him and he just ignored me i tried three times and I just got fed up and I was like, hey, I'm not going to chase after this. If you don't want to talk about your project, I don't necessarily want to talk about your project. I get it. I'm talking about their project right now, but you might want to hear about their project. That's why I'm talking about it. And I don't dislike this project. I'm just, I guess I'm salty that they didn't want to answer my questions. But if we go back to the roadmap, they also mention a bit of their portal that they're building and they're going to have shops, casinos, bars, and fight arenas. Now, I don't know if this is a game, if they're doing some sort of Decentraland play or metaverse or if it's just gonna be a browser, like 2D game or random casino in the browser. Again, had they DM'd me, I'd be able to tell you if it was a 2D browser game. So the other thing I don't like is the team is anonymous. If we compare this to the previous project where they answered me in seconds, we're happy to help. The team is fully doxxed. Here, I guess they weren't willing to talk to me and the team is completely anonymous. You know which one I'm gonna go for. Now, I do think this is gonna do well purely because it's on Solana, but if they're both on Ethereum and I had to choose between one, I would go for the one who gave me the time of day. So I like that they have a dev lead. They have two co-founders. They don't say what they do. Maybe they're also developers, but I doubt it because I think they would have done their website if they had three developers, but they seem to have hired uh, President Joe Biden to do their website. Finally, the thing I really like about this project is 3% of the royalties are gonna go into the community portal, which is gonna be on this website. And if we look here, each one of your NFTs is gonna count as a key to the Soul Underworld. And there's gonna be a portal that opens once a day randomly. And if you're lucky enough, I guess to click it first, maybe I feel like somebody could just run a bot to do that. Anyways, uh, you're gonna get a valuable mystery reward. So I don't know what that's gonna be. Is that gonna be free NFTs? Are they gonna buy with the money other NFTs? Are you gonna get a Doge Pound? Are you gonna get a Penguin as a reward just for accessing their website and their portal? I think that's an amazing idea. That's a great way to get people to come onto your website, onto your portal and interact together by giving them an incentive. They could potentially win a reward. You're also gonna get a token that's gonna grant you a special role in Discord. If you hang out in their Discord, you might find that cool. So overall, this, this project, they're really trying to build an exclusive club for their holders. So I really do like it. I wish they would answer my questions because I do want to know more about the casino, the fight arena, what it's going to look like. Is it currently in development? How far along in development are they with their portal? How is it being built? I have a ton of questions, but what can you do? So if you want to mint this one, it's going to be 10,000. They're going to be going for two soul each, which is a decent price. It's still expensive, but it's better than all these three soul projects. It's going to be happening on September 20th at 5 p.m. Eastern, and it's going to be a limit of one per transaction. I That I could respect. That tells me they want to build a community instead of just offloading as many as they can onto as little people as they can. And finally, their Discord has over 20,000 people. When I checked all three times throughout the day, there was roughly 22 to 25% 
who are online. Their Twitter has roughly 15,000 to 16,000 followers, depending when you watch this video. And the marketplace they're gonna be available on is going to be solanart.io. Next, I was gonna talk about Red Panda Squad. It was supposed to happen tonight. They decided to delay it to the end of this week due to the fact that a bunch of people were complaining that they couldn't get soul off of Binance, they couldn't get soul off of Coinbase. So they said, okay, we're just gonna delay the project. So I will talk about this later on during the week. The final thing I want to talk about is Star Atlas will be doing their mini game registry on September 21st. So if you like Star Atlas, if you're into it, sign up to the mini game. It should be coming out within the next few weeks. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And the more of a channel grows, the more I can give away. Speaking of which, I am giving away one entire soul token to my subscribers. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button head on over to Twitter, follow me on Twitter, retweet my pin tweets, and tag one friend in the comment section of my pin tweet. If you like talking about NFTs, if you need help with something, join a Discord. I would love to have you there. If you want to buy crypto in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free money when you make your first trade. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.